Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what to do when you have a crash to desktop. Now as you will know Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't have a save feature so if you're in the middle of a flight and you experience the crash to desktop which we've all experienced so very often then you can't continue your flight from where you left off. You have to go back in and restart the flight which is very very annoying. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you a workaround to help you save time and frustrating when trying to restart a flight. Now we've all been there, we've started the flight, we've gone through all the start procedures and we've taken off. Everything is going perfectly so far, we get to the cruise phase of the flight and you get pretty much all the way through the flight and suddenly the sim freezes and then crashes and you are left staring at your desktop. So instead of just going back in and restarting the flight and doing the whole flight again, or just flying the approach to the airport that you're landing at, all you need to do is when you're creating a flight plan using Simbrief, after selecting generate a flight plan, scroll to the bottom of the page and then find the download button under the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 subsection. Then just click the download button. Now what this will do is it will just download a file to your downloads folder and that's all you have to do. If you don't happen to have a crash to desktop during your flight then you can just go ahead and delete this afterwards. But if you do have a crash desktop then you're going to want to reload the sim. Then go to the world map as usual. But then instead of just selecting a departure airport, go down to the bottom, select more and then click on the save slash load flight. Then just select the file that you downloaded from Simbrief and it will automatically load into the sim. Next select the waypoint closest to where you experienced the crash to desktop and then select this as the departure. Then just click fly and wait for the sim to load and I'll show you what to do next. Also, if you're not using Simbrief, then why not? I mean, it is honestly an amazing website to generate and create flight plans. And honestly, there isn't really any better websites to do this. So if you're not using it, then I would highly recommend that you do. Okay, so welcome back into the A330. Now, as you can see, we are pretty much where we left off before we had the crash to desktop. And the aircraft is pretty much in a cruise configuration. However, there are a couple of things we need to do, like turn on the autopilot, you know, set the altimeter to standard, but for the most part, the aircraft is already configured. Now, the main reason that we imported the Simbri flight plan is that if we come down to the MCDU here, we can see that the flight plan has already been entered. So, all we have to do is turn on the autopilot and continue the flight as we were doing before. Now if you want to know more about how to configure the A320 for startup, taxi, takeoff, cruise, approach, landing and shutdown, then please let me know down in the comments and I can potentially start a tutorial series. So I hope this has helped. It is honestly rather annoying that Microsoft don't have a save feature yet, so hopefully they will end up adding that in a future sim update. It would make everyone's lives a lot easier, especially as the crash to desktop is something that we do experience rather too often. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.